We're at an exciting time in Photovoltaics. We've actually uh, reached a level of success that was the vision uh, many years ago. In the U.S. now, we're approaching about 1% of our electricity coming from PV. In Europe, where they deployed earlier than what we did, there's some countries that already get 5 to 10% of their electricity from PV. The challenge now is to move from that success uh, to making PV really significant. Renewable energy is so important. To have a national effort is very valuable to the country. Here at NREL, we work with the other research organizations across the country, the universities and the industry, to be able to have a more coordinated program. I had the distinct pleasure of leading the team that formed the uh, National Center for Photovoltaics in 1996. And our goal was to provide a forum where the industry and academic and national lab researchers could come together and discuss the key issues in photovoltaics and through that establish uh, priorities for research, uh, largely through a consensus process. Today, PV can meet the, the peak demand when the sun is shining in the summer and it's very hot and the air conditioning loads are high. The next problem, though, is we do use electricity at night when the sun isn't shining. And the question is, how can we manage the grid so that the sunshine during the day can help us run the grid all day long and all year long? We see a strong need for research in photovoltaic systems, for instance, to integrate storage Integrating that storage capability in with grid delivery of electricity is extremely interesting and, and likely a very leveraging challenge. The vision for photovoltaics, it's uh, rich in, in its opportunities for advanced materials research. There are completely new processes that may be developed that can reduce the capital cost of building photovoltaic factories. Uh, there's also very important science that's needed to understand the degradation mechanisms in photovoltaic modules. Quest is an engineering research center. The mission of Quest is to address the terawatt challenge using, using photovoltaics. One of the key research goals of Quest is to continue to improve silicon solar cells. One of our research focuses is to make very lightweight, high efficiency, flexible solar cells. The reason for going flexible is both a systems advantage, so it's much easier to carry lightweight modules up onto the roof when you go thinner, it's also easier to get to high efficiency. Now, going thinner is actually technically quite challenging. We have to address the fundamental material defects. So what we do is we integrate a large number of teams and to address the challenges in making a realistic, flexible, high efficiency silicon solar cell. I'm a PhD student in Quest. My research is focused on perovskite solar cells which have the potential to make solar cells even cheaper. Perovskite solar cells are a very exciting topic because of the ability to create uh, high efficiency solar cells with uh, solution processing. One of the projects I work on is related to reducing the operating temperature of photovoltaic cells when they operate outdoors. We have to build computer simulations that include everything from the optical and thermal and electrical properties of the cell all the way out to the larger system that includes the flow of air around multiple modules. And we find that even things like the band gap of the cell and how much sub-band gap light is reflected out of the module can have a big effect on the operating temperature of the module. There's still a lot of challenges to make a module that's going to last and perform well outdoors in harsh climates. We're studying defect degradation. I'll use uh, imaging techniques to start off with large modules and work our way down to small sizes. And then we'll use microscopy techniques like uh, scanning electron microscopes and atomic force microscopy to really study what's going on at the nanoscale. I really enjoy the opportunities that a place like NRL can really provide for students at, uh, at all levels, really. And that's a really important component because, um, you know, we all grow older and uh, somebody's got to take up the torch next. One of the ways that we're looking at educating the students is with the hands-on PV experience, we call it HOPE. We bring about a dozen students 
into NREL for a week each year to learn more about PV and to interact with both the other students doing research across the country and to interact with NREL researchers in an in-depth way that you would not get in a normal tour. It's an opportunity to see what kinds of things we do on a day-to-day -day basis, but then also discuss kind of where the technology is going. Renewable energy prices are coming down at um, a really fast rate. And if you extrapolate that out, eventually we'll get to the point where renewable energy can provide the world with clean energy at a lower cost than what we're paying today for fossil fuels. It's really a very exciting vision that with more deployment, more research, and more innovation, we can create a world that's run by clean energy and at a cost that brings prosperity to the whole world.